Hey, it's Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel, The Bookworm Gal. And I have a little book haul for you today. Uh, I am in the process of moving, like I said in one of my last videos, and everything's kind of packed up in a lot of different boxes. Uh, but I managed to dig a few books out so I could show them to you. And I have just four books today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, the Bridge of San Luis Rey is the first book I have. It is by Thornton Wilder, and this came out in 1927, so it's a, an old, old book. It's a classic. Uh, it's about a little over 100 pages long, and I've always kind of wanted to read it. It's about uh, some people that are on a bridge which subsequently uh, collapses, and I think a number of people end up dying in the this uh, collapse. And I don't, that's not a spoiler. It just kind of goes into then how their different lives intersect um, before the accident, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that is the synopsis of the book. Um, and this should be a pretty quick read. I really like the, the, this edition. It's just kind of simple, just the bridge and the moon, uh, the color kind of cute. So I will be getting to that book I have is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey. And this uh, I've seen on BookTube a few other times. Um, it came out a couple of years ago in 2014. It is about a man who owns a bookstore and he has a rare collection of Edgar Allan Poe poems, which gets stolen. So I guess this is about him trying to get those back. And I think he meets a woman in the process who shows up at the bookstore. And there's also, um, I guess it says a mysterious package arrives at the bookstore. I don't know if that's referring to the woman or something else. But she probably, I don't know, there's probably going to be a love story involved with her is my guess. Um, I really, this cover is really nice. It's very smooth and soft. I really like the texture of it. So this is about 250-some uh, pages and by Gabrielle Zevin, and I really like books about books and bookstores, so this should be an enjoyable read. I have is a YA. It is The Vanishing Season by Jody Lynn Anderson, and this has a bit of a supernatural element to it. It's about, I think, a couple of sisters who move from, I think, Chicago to Door County, Wisconsin, which actually attracted me because I'm actually from Wisconsin. Um, so I wanted to see uh, what they would mention in the book and what I would recognize. Um, and the plot kind of is interesting. I, it's about, I guess, in their town that they move to, all these, a bunch of girls go missing. And I, I think they have to find out why it's occurring and I like I said there's kind of a supernatural element so I don't know if it's some kind of a ghost or a creature or something and that wouldn't normally attract me because I'm not really that into kind of like supernatural thing I mean I I kind of I like ghost stories every now and then um but I, I don't know if it's for sure a ghost or some other kind of strange creature so kind of strange um but yeah and the last book that I have is The Doldrums. This is by Nicholas Gannon. It is a middle grade fiction book. Uh, it's kind of a mystery surrounding these children who go to Antarctica. I think they are going there to study penguins. And somehow they never come back, I think. So it's going to be probably uh, surrounding what happened to them. Uh, I picked this up at Barnes & Noble. And... I, what really attracted me, of course, was this awesome cover. And there are really cute pictures inside. For example. So I love it's just like a, a fun read. It's kind of hefty. It's over 300 pages. So it's kind of big for a, a middle grade book, I suppose. Um, this is not at the top of my list, but I do want to get to it soon. Um, my goal is to get through as many books that I already own before I buy new ones. Uh, on Goodreads, I have a goal of 100 books this year, which was um, way overshooting, I think, because I'm at about 24 right now. So I'm failing miserably, but that's okay. Oh, well. Uh, but I do want to read as many books that I have 
already before I allow myself to indulge in more books. So that is what I have so far. When I move and get settled, I would like to show you more books that I have packed up. And I'd like to show you, um, I have some graphic novels. I might do a graphic novel haul and uh, as well as a video of my favorite books. So uh, you can follow me on Goodreads and Instagram and I will list those below. And until I see you again, have a great day and take care. Bye.